Hey everybody, Trap God Senpai back with another video. This time, we're going to be doing a full recap of Classroom of the Elite Season 1. Episode 1 Our main character, Kiyotaka Ayanakoji, begins attending school at Class 1D at the Tokyo Metropolitan Advanced Nurturing High School, an institution established by the government for training Japan's best students. Upon arrival, Class D's homeroom teacher, Sai Chabashida, explains the point system, where everyone starts the year with 100,000 points and will be allocated more at the first of every month. Each of these points is equivalent to 1 yen and can be used as money at local shops around campus. Ayana Koji begins to believe that something is off and becomes hesitant spending his money, saving it where he can. This is also where he begins to make acquaintances with some of his classmates. Kiki Okushida, the always cheery girl whose goal is to become friends with everyone in the entire school, and the aloof outsider, Suzume Horikita. As the month of April passes, the majority of Class D has spent almost all of their points without being warned or reprimanded. But on May 1st, all of the Class D students are shocked to find out that they haven't been giving any points. Upon confronting Ms. Chabashida, she reveals to them that because of their poor performance and lack of interest in class, they've been awarded zero points for the month. Episode 2 Ms. Chabashida finally starts explaining some of the rules of the school. There are four classes, ranked A through D based on merit. Each class has the opportunity to be promoted one rank based on performance and exam scores, and anyone who fails an exam will be expelled. Now that the cards are on the table, everyone in Class D starts doing their best, except for the three troublemakers, Ken Sudo, Kanji Ike, and Haruki Yamauchi. Ayana Koji and Kushida attempt to help these three study in the library, but they quickly lose interest and leave without putting in much work. Later that night, Ayana Koji overhears Horikita talking with her older brother, the student council president, and intervenes when he attempts to get physical with her. This leads to a small confrontation where Ayana Koji expertly dodges and blocks all of the president's blows. The president then questions him on his fighting style, and also asks if he scored exactly 50% on every entrance exam so to appear average. Denying all suspicions, Ayana Koji leaves the president with no other option but to simply leave. After they're alone, Horikita and Ayana Koji talk about the future of the class, with her explaining she does not care about those who fail the tests. This leads Ayana Koji to question if her cold demeanor what was placed her in Class D. When the results of the exam come out, Class D actually performed very well, with some of the students placing amongst the top for the first years. Episode 3 Everyone in Class D passed the exam except for Ken, who missed the threshold by one point. It is revealed that the high scores were due to Aya Nikoji purchasing last year's exam from some upperclassmen for 15,000 points, which is not against school rules. A couple days before the exam took place, Aya Nikoji sees Ken being harassed by Class C's Kakaru Ryuen. After a while, Honami Ichinose intervenes and breaks it up, but Ken, who is still angry about the ordeal, tries to get revenge and is stopped again by Ichinose as well as Aya Nikoji, who then invites him to the group. Ken blows him off stating he would rather play basketball. Ayana Koji reaches out to Ms. Chabashira, asking if he can purchase a point on the exam for Ken so he doesn't get expelled. Ms. Chabashira then states that it will cost 100,000 points, and with the help of Horikita, they manage to scrounge up enough points to save Ken from expulsion. That night, Kushida throws a party to celebrate in Ayana Koji's room, much to his dismay, and asks if he was the one to help Ken. Ayana Koji, wanting to keep a low profile, pushes the credit to Horikita. As the party's dying down, he realizes that Kushida left her phone, and when he goes to return it, he sees something startling. The always happy Kushida is just a facade. She's a devious and hateful person. Kushida, then to keep her secret, grabs Ayana Koji's hand and forcibly places it on her chest, stating that if he tells anyone about what he saw, she will report him for sexual assault. Revealing her true colors, Ayana Koji begins to contemplate which personality is the true Kushida. Episode 4 Class 1B killed the exam thanks to Ichinose's tutoring, and she makes it clear that her intentions are to help her class reach Class A. Ichinose later reaches out to Ayana Koji, asking him to pretend to be her boyfriend, because a friend is about to confess her feelings to her and she doesn't want to hurt them. Ayana Koji refuses, forcing Ichinose to be upfront with her suitor. Back with Class D, they find out that their points for the month of July have been withheld thanks to an incident with Ken. He was jumped by multiple people, and when he fought back, they framed him as the aggressor. If Class D can't find any corroborating witnesses, they'll be punished as a whole, receiving no points for the month of July. Ichinose feels that she owes Ayana Koji a favor for his help earlier, and begins helping him find a witness. This leads to Ayana Koji getting a peek at her point total on her phone, over 2 million. 
he begins to wonder how on earth she could have amassed that many points so quickly. Later, Class D comes to the realization that without concrete evidence, nobody will believe Ken's story because of his history as a troublemaker. Luckily for Class D though, they find out that Ayuri Sakura was there and captured evidence on her camera. But when approached, she gets scared and runs away, dropping her camera in the process. Episode 5 Sakura asks Ayana Koji and Kushida to go with her to the electronics store to get her camera fixed. And when the clerk asks her for her contact information, Ayana Koji gives his instead as he can see that Sakura is uncomfortable with it. Afterwards, they all sit and talk about what Sakura should do. Later that night, she calls Kushida telling her that she will help in the case. The next day at the hearing, both sides plead their case with the discussion initially going in favor of Class C. After Horikita steps up and explains her reasoning, and Sakura shows the evidence, it is clear that Class C is lying. The class president residing over the conversation states that he will deliver his conclusion tomorrow. After leaving deliberation, the president starts a confrontation with Aya Nikoji, asking if he can prove Sakura was telling the truth about the incident. Aya Nikoji simply responds that he is looking forward to the president's decision tomorrow. Episode 6 At the start, we see Sakura being harassed by her online following, causing her internal distress. Later in the classroom, Aya Nikoji lets Sakura know that he is grateful for her help and that she essentially saved the class. Aya Nikoji then confronts the three liars from Class C, saying that if they just pretend like there was never actually a fight, that would be the best for both classes. That way, nobody would get in trouble. The Class C troublemakers agree to this, as they know that they are completely revealed they will be expelled. Later, the camera shop employee corners Sakura. Being one of her online followers, he has developed an obsession with her and begins trying to assault her. However, Aya Nikoji steps in and takes a picture, and lets him know that he is done for. After he confronts him, Ichinose and the police step in to arrest him. Now that that issue has been settled, we go back to the matter of the fight. After the Class C thugs take back their statements, the student council president confronts Aya Nikoji, asking him to join the student council. Aya Nikoji of course refuses, stating that he doesn't like to expend more energy than he needs to. At the end of the episode, we see Ryuin beating his classmates for taking back their claims of assault and foiling his plans. Episode 7 This episode revolves around a plot by the boys in Class D to put cameras in the changing room to peep on the girls. While installing the cameras, there are other classes approaching, which forces Ken to try and install them for time. Aya Nikoji knows about this plan, and uses Horikita to help distract the other classes with a speech about how Class D will ascend. Given enough time, Haruki is able to escape the locker room without being seen. Their efforts in the end are all in vain though, as Horikita goes into the locker room to take all of the SD cards, leaving the boys with no gains. Aya Nikoji later reveals that he played along with them for a bit because he was afraid that if he tried to dissuade them, they would do it behind his back. In this way, he at least had information and could formulate a plan to stop their actions. Episode 8 For their first class trip, all of the first year students are loaded up onto a luxurious cruise ship. During the cruise, Aya Nikoji finds out from Ms. Chabashira that someone had contacted the school asking for him to be expelled. She makes a request of him to boost his class to class A and in return she will protect him. Hating being used, he tells Ms. Chabashira that she will regret trying to use him. Later, Horikita and Aya Nikoji meet up to discuss the trip. They find out that they are being taken to an island with school boarding houses and suspect there is more to this trip than just having fun. The next day, the teachers inform the students the real purpose behind the trip to the island. They are required to take a survival test on the island for a week. Episode 9 The rules of the assessment are as follows. Each class starts with S points. These can be used to buy things for survival, but any leftover points will be awarded to the class, increasing its standing. Each group can also earn more S points through finding landmarks and having their leader lay claim to them. The last way to get S points is to correctly identify the leaders of the other groups. Plus 50 for a correct guess and minus 50 for incorrect. Class D eventually forms a campsite next to a clear river they can use for drinking water, and ends up finding an injured member of Class C. They invite her to stay with them and end up celebrating their so far successful trip by having a feast of what they forage throughout the day. Unfortunately for Class D, Koenji decides that he doesn't want to participate anymore, feigning sickness and returning to the boat, costing Class D 30 S points. Episode 10 this episode primarily consists of Class D doing reconnaissance on the other classes. They find Class A is camped out in a cave, Class B's camp is by a waterfall, much like their own camp but in a better location, and Class C is camped out on the beach. Class C has spent all of their points in retreating the test like a vacation. 
On the night of the third day, someone had searched through Ibuki's bag looking to find her phone. In the following day, Class D finds out that everyone in her class except Ibuki has withdrawn from the test. The fifth day brings trouble, as Karuizawa finds out that someone has stolen a pair of her panties. They conduct searches, with Ayana Koji finding them in Ike's bag. Ayana Koji takes them, and is subsequently patted down by Hirata. Hirata then decides to take the fall, knowing he will face the least amount of backlash due to the fact that Karuizawa is his girlfriend. Episode 11 Due to the unease of the underwear theft, trust within Class D erodes, and the girls decide to split from the boys, forming two separate camps. Later, while Ayana Koji and Horikita are talking by the campfire, Yamauchi puts mud in Horikita's hair, causing her to throw him to the ground. As she leaves to wash her hair, someone steals her leader card, which she later tells Ayana Koji about in secret. Shortly after that incident, someone starts a fire at the camp, burning the survival test manual, leading to even more mistrust within Class D. Using this as a distraction, Ibuki sneaks away, but this causes the suspicion to shift to Ibuki, and Horikita goes to search for her, soon learning she is the one that stole her leader card. Despite it being against the rules, Ibuki attacks Horikita. Weakened by her illness, Horikita is easily defeated by Ibuki, who then brings the leadership card to an unknown student. Episode 12 Ibuki notifies Katsuragi through a ham radio that she has secured Horikita's leader card, as Class A and Class C were revealed to be working together. Ayana Koji finds Horikita and brings her to a cave where he explains the situation to her. He then brings her to the teacher's camp where she drops out of the exam due to her illness. On the final day, the students guess who the leaders of the group are, and Ayana Koji made the selections for Class D. At the assembly, Ryuin reveals his plot to work together with Class A and sends spies to the other camps to figure out all of the leaders. But when the results are revealed, the winner is Class D with 225 points, and Class C had only zero. Horikita goes to catch up with Ayana Koji to see how they ended up with so many points. That's where he reveals his plot to let her card get stolen, have her withdraw, then name himself as leader so classes A and C would be punished for incorrectly guessing. Ayana Koji then explains his logic behind picking all of the leaders. Shocked by his incredible deductions, she asked him what is motivating him if he has no interest in rising to class A. But as she's waiting for an answer, it becomes apparent that Ayana Koji had also led everyone to believe that this was Horikita's plan all along. Later meeting up with Miss Chabashira, Ayana Koji asks who it was that requested his expulsion, as he won't do her bidding from the dark. She reveals it was his father, and he had actually said that the expulsion doesn't matter because Ayana Koji would leave of his own accord soon enough. After leaving Miss Chabashira, he meets back up with Horikita, where she thanks him for his help and states that she will need his help to achieve Class A. This is where he internally drops a bombshell, stating that he doesn't acknowledge any of his classmates as allies, but only pawns that can be used for his own gain. He ends his internal monologue stating that all that matters is him winning in the end. Hey guys, before I go, I just wanted to let you all know I had a lot of fun putting this video together. If you like this recap or have any other shows you want me to do a recap on, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.